Pueblo Bonito Emerald Bay Resort and Spa located in Zona Nuevo in Mazatlan, overlooking the Pacific Ocean. A luxury resort, gorgeous grounds. The old style reminded me of Jurassic Park with vines growing all through it. Nice spacious hotel rooms. Two bedroom units and villas are available also at this resort. It's two kilometers from Maz Agua Water Park. It offers 378 rooms, five restaurants, four bars, three outdoor pools, one for kids, one for adults, and one for anybody, hot tub, beachfront property, two outdoor showers, a boutique shop, tennis court, gym, and spa. Very friendly family resort. Check-in time is 3 p.m. Checkout is 10 or noon. Ask at the front desk to be sure. And speaking of check-in, check-out time, here we are entering the reception area. It's really nicely done. It's pretty big inside. Uh, the service was pretty quick when we got to the desk. Everyone staying here is issued a wristband identifying if they are all-inclusive or not all-inclusive. Inside the reception area, there's a place called Kelly's Bar. They, of course, offer drinks and food. Inside the club, it seemed like more of like a men's club, but just had that look and feel about it. The grounds were very lush and green, very tropical feeling for sure. One of the things I really appreciated is that parts of the buildings were made to look pretty old. It really added to the atmosphere, I thought. were from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. There was a cabana where you could check out pool towels by giving them your room number. And I think they also may have scanned your bracelet. Your bracelet was scanned a lot during that resort stay. So basically you were responsible for your beach towel. If you did not return your beach towel by the time that you checked out, you were charged a $25 fee per towel. This restaurant was located right off the pool and offered indoor and outdoor buffet dining. We only ate at this restaurant once during our stay. The resort had multiple golf carts running around throughout it, taking people to restaurants, to their rooms, to the spa and the gym. And I think if you need one of those golf carts to take you to the gym, I think you're defeating the purpose of going to the gym, really. To walk from one end of the resort to the other, it's about a 10 or 12 minute walk depending on your pace and depending on how much time you take to stop and admire the beauty.
The resort also had an outdoor ceramic activity area where you could buy and paint ceramics. They would fire it up for you later to pick up your pieces the next day. This pool area was the second largest pool and it was by a restaurant called the Bistro where we ate most of our meals at. The resort sits on 20 acres and it opened in 1987. One other thing I wanted to mention is those with young children, the resort does offer babysitting services for an additional fee. We ended up staying in one of the hotel units, which was very nice. It had a kitchen area, which I did not expect. The bathroom had a bathtub, which is unusual for Mexico. It had two queen-size beds. Our room was pretty spacious. It offered a closet with good storage. It also had shelves for storage to fold your clothes on. There was a kitchen table with four chairs if you wanted to make your meals and eat in the room or just eat your meals in the room. We also had a wonderful balcony. It was just incredible. We left our door open with the screen closed. Most of the time that we were there, they did offer air conditioning. And I don't know if you can hear it, to the microphone, but beyond these trees is a is the ocean, the Pacific Ocean. So we get to listen to the waves come in. Reminds me of our uh, the time that we stayed in Malaga in Spain. Spain. We we're right on the Mediterranean Sea. While we were there, we listened to a timeshare presentation and was able to get a discount on the all-inclusive wristbands. Now, I don't know if they do this for everybody that stays at the timeshare or just timeshare owners. Um, it was $41 per person per day. We thought that that was totally reasonable. You could eat as much or as little as you wanted and it included cocktails. So for the both of us, it ran as $574 for the week. Without the discount given to us after the presentation, the cost was $120 per person per day. After we were done eating, we would see the digital bill that was presented on an iPad because we had to sign it after every meal. The bill actually gets pretty expensive and it adds up fairly fast. If you had two cocktails each, an appetizer, a main course and dessert, your bill would be well over $100, not including a tip. Regarding tips, we always gave a tip. I think some did and I think others did not with the all-inclusive price. Just to give you an example, a bottle of water was 120 pesos in a restaurant. This same bottle would probably be less than 20 pesos at an OXO or a convenience store. For room service, they did tack on an extra $4. The gym and the spa that they offer there at the resort is free uh, as far as the gym is concerned if you have the all-inclusive. If you do not, the fee is extra. I'm not sure what that cost is. The spa, however, is extra for all. The resort does offer airport shuttle service uh, for an additional fee. If you need a taxi, they'll call for one, but I did see many parked and lined up outside the resort. Parking there is free. They also offer a free bus service to the sister resort, Pueblo Bonita Mazatlan, at 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. only. And then the returns from the resort start around 4.30 in the afternoon every hour until 9.30 p.m. The all-inclusive package is good at the Sister Resort as well, which is located in the Golden Zone at Mazatlan. Once at the resort, you can walk about a block down on the same side of the street and catch the green bus. The front of it's green. It says Sabalo, 
Uh, the bus is 13 pesos, right now about 80 U.S. cents. Um, we took the bus to the aquarium. We took it to the Mercado. We took it to the lighthouse. I mean, it's it comes very fast and it's very convenient. As long as you head back to the resort after you're done with your day trip into the city, just know that the last bus that will leave the resort is at 9.30 p.m. After that, you will need to take a taxi back to the other resort. Final thoughts, and would you return? I thought the resort was beautiful, the amenities were good, and I would definitely return. Yeah, I thought the food was excellent. I thought the grounds were beautiful. The service that we got the whole time was wonderful. And there wasn't anything bad that I had to say about that resort. I would definitely go back.